Well, there's some good economic news tonight that eases the budget crunch facing state government. The state's Council on Revenues predicts state revenue will increase higher than expected over the next six months. KITV First Kilke Kerr joins us live with that story. Kilke? And Laura, tourism is coming back here, bringing more revenue to the state, but the recovery is still slow. Since more tourists are coming to the islands than originally predicted and they're spending more money while they're here, the State Council on Revenues today revised its prediction that revenues will grow by 3% for the state over the next six months, up one percentage point from earlier estimates. The main reason is that tourism has proved to be stronger than we were previously predicting, and uh, it's, it's great news for the state. That translates into an increase of roughly $44 million in tax revenue for the state over the next six months, which will put a dent in an expected $70 million shortfall. I think the uh, economy is, is recovering. Uh, it'll be a little bit slower than we would all want to. The, okay. of the Council on Revenues held firm on its estimate that state revenues will go up by 10% next fiscal year because hotel rooms will eventually fill up. We can house a certain number of visitors with the current stock, and once we get there, once we get to where we were in 2007 and 2006, we sort of run out of room, literally. Paul Brubaker says the construction industry will drive the economy beyond that, with a multi-billion dollar rail project helping to keep revenue growth at 6% a year over the next five years. Lowell Kalapa of the Tax Foundation of Hawaii worries that the national unemployment rate is still high, slowing the return of tourists coming to Hawaii from the mainland. That is the fear that I think we have is that, you know, all is not well yet with our national economy to the extent that we can expect westbound visitors to come back at any great pace. Now, last week, the governor predicted the state will face a $770 million budget shortfall over the next two years. Today, House Finance Chairman Marcus Oshiro said the Council on Revenue's increased projections will take about a $140 million bite out of that shortfall, but that still leaves... $630 million to make up. Laura, back to you. Just a little less painful. All right, thanks, Kiyoki.